I'm Peyton and I go to Edwardsville High School. Hi, my name is Sophia Pascal and I'm 13 and I go to Alt Middle School. Hi, I'm Haley. I read a lot. Hi, my name is Brandon. Um, I like to act in plays. Hi, my name is Carmen. Um, I run track and I play golf. Hello, my name is Stella Smith and I really enjoy being around dogs. I'm Mariah and I'm from Roxana High School and I like to play video games. Hi, my name is Brooklyn Pascal and I'm 13 years old and I go to AMS. Hey, I'm Tori. I play with my rabbits and I take naps a lot. Hello, my name's Christina Nance, and I'm 30, I have one, so I'm 31. <laughs> um, I have six kids. Um, I'm a recovering addict, I've been clean for three years now. Um, an old friend of mine invited me to youth group, and it was right before camp whenever I realized that I actually was understanding the whole point of this. It wasn't just fun and games. So I, I grew up in church, and so I always came with my parents. And then when I was like about six, my mom asked us if we believed in Jesus, and yeah. Whenever I was about nine years old, my mom and dad started like having problems, and then they went in to have a divorce, and I kind of didn't have anywhere to turn, and then my friend said, oh, you should come to church with me. I was like, okay. So I went to church, and I was like, oh, I really like this. And I got really into it, and it was a really comfortable place to be, and it was like God was one person that I could always talk to about anything. I was in fifth grade. I was a Christian. And my grandma died, so I kind of lost all um, motivation to go to church. So then I kind of gave up on uh, Christianity. And then Alex is like, hey, yo, you want to go to youth? I'm like, sure, dog. So I've been coming to church ever since I was a baby. And I've been coming to Cornerstone for 10 years, like accumulative. So when we left, uh, we started searching for new churches, but nothing really felt like home. So when we came back, I felt like I grew a lot closer to God. So my friend Jordan was really pestering me to go to youth group, and it wasn't until I found out my friend Alex went here and Yates went here that I actually decided to like come and try it out. And then they had me go to Breakaway. At Breakaway, I made the decision to get baptized and become a Christian fully. Well, I didn't grow up in a Christian home. I mean. My grandma um, would have us go to church with her, and I mean, I guess that's when I first had my first experience with God, but she passed away when I was six. But a few years ago, I went to my first church camp with one of my friends. I felt like having like a father was great, and I love to like share my faith with people, and it just, I became a Christian that week at camp. So I come here with my parents, and yeah, when I was six, I was saved. I grew up in a church with my grandma, but I had a rough past with family. And I moved out and I moved in with my grandma when I was 11. And that's when I really got, like I lost my faith for a while, but then I got back into my faith. And I've been there ever since. Actually, what brought me is my kid is a grandma. She uh, brought me one day with her and it, it when she, I came, it just fit. It just felt different. I just, when we were worshiping, it was just, Something came over me and it was just, it was different. It's like a calling, like I belonged here. I want to be baptized so I can show people that I'm a believer and a follower in Christ. I want to let everyone know that I'm a Christian and I want to become closer in my relationship with God. Because I feel like I've just been putting it off, but God's been telling me I just need to do it. I feel like I wasn't really ready whenever I first got baptized, whenever I was 11 or 12. I didn't really understand the full meaning of it, and now that you know I'm in church all the time, I kind of get the concept of it, and I know it better, so I know what I'm doing and what I'm putting myself up for, so that's why I'm getting that time. I just want to reinstate my uh, uh, belief in Jesus. So I've always had a close relationship to God, but it's become like recently that I feel like God's calling out to me that I need to be closer to Him and that I need to make a difference in the world. I want to get baptized because when I first got baptized, I was in like fifth grade and I didn't know what it really meant. And a bunch of stuff has happened in my life that just made me want to like reimburse Jesus into my life. I want to be baptized because it says in the Bible that Jesus wants you to. And it's a public declaration of my faith. I feel like it's the next step in my relationship with God because like I got my relationship fixed with Him. 
and I feel like it's the next step to just say goodbye to my past. I want to be baptized because I want to be reborn. I want to live a new life. I don't want to live the life that I was living before. I want a new life, a life with Jesus Christ and God. I love my church because everyone's nice and friendly and they take you in however you are. Because both the leaders and the students, you could turn to pretty much anybody and tell them that you have a struggle or a problem and they'll be there to talk to you about it. There's a good youth group for us to attend and like people are always inviting us in, like, in to like, their friend groups and we get to meet new people. I really like In Common because it's a really comfortable like place to be. Everybody's really friendly and the first night I was here nobody made me feel like I was like somebody new. They were just like, hi, how are you? And I really like how welcoming they are and how nice they are to everybody. Because I have a problem, I can just go up to either Chris or Christina and be like, hey, could I talk with you? I'm like, yeah, sure. I love my church because I feel like they are accepting of everyone. They don't pick anyone out. We're all just one big family and we love each other. I love my youth group because we're a whole family and like I'm in a lot of clubs and it's not quite the family you're looking for. Like if I have something wrong, I can go to, to Pastor Chris or Christina and be like, hey, this has really been bugging me, can I talk to you about it? And they'll be like, yeah man, come on. And it's just like a nice environment to be in. People actually talk to you, usually churches I went to, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't talk to you and everybody is nice. And I know if I have, if I need something, my youth pastor will help me or anybody else in the youth group. And that's a nice feeling. I love my youth because it's a lot different than my last one. And like, I feel at home here and it's my favorite place to be most of the time. Not most of the time, like all of the time. Well, I love it here so far that um, everyone's so nice and <laughs> everyone's um, answered a lot of questions I've had. So I'm getting a lot of knowledge and you know, everybody's so sweet.